Hey guys, so welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's tutorial, I'll be teaching you guys how to add sort of an echo reverb on your music so that instead of ending your music abruptly, you can sort of add a reverb onto the music so it just ends nicely with your edits. Okay, so here I have the music in the timeline. So for the sake of the tutorial, I add a marker where I want the music to end. So let's give it a listen right at this area. Okay, so that's the music and you want to cut the music right at the beats. So that's where you're supposed to end. Okay, so this is the beat. So just put your play hit on the beat and press S on your keyboard to make a split. And then what you want to do is you want to leave a bit of a gap. You know, it depends how long it lasts until the next bit comes in. So for sure, this is the second bit right after the first cut here. So I want to cut the audio, the music right before the first bit. And then you want to delete the extra portions. So we only left with these two events here. Now with the small portion events here, you want to right click and create a sub clip. So now what we have done is basically make a two separate identities. So here in the project media, you can see Vegas duplicate the music. So now what you want to do is just stretch out this event and it will make a loop. So we don't want to loop the music. So you just right click properties and uncheck loop. So it just end right there. So now what you want to do now is that this event, you want to add an effects, uh, a reverb effects, obviously. So I'm going to use EFX reverb. Now EFX reverb are only available starting from Vegas Pro 16 and above. So if you're using Vegas Pro 16 below, like Vegas Pro 15 and below, you will not have this EFX plugins. Okay, this plugin come in stock starting from Vegas 16 if I'm not mistaken. So if you don't have this, you can just use the normal reverb plugin in Vegas. They just work the same. Okay, so I'm going to use this one instead and you can start playing around with the settings. Okay, so let's give it a try. Okay, it's a bit hard. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna change the mode to hall. Maybe reduce the mix and the dampening here. I'm gonna increase the time and reduce the size. I think that sounds great. And then the final touch you can do is just blend them together by adding crossfade. Okay, just like so. And you can right click on the crossfade and choose the different types. I'm gonna choose this one. And that's pretty much it. And you are done. You just add a, a reverb, a tail onto your music. So that's how you do it here in Vegas Pro. And I hope you guys like this tutorial. If you have any question, you can leave it down in the comment section. Till next time, bye bye.